So guys, for the first step, you're going to head over to search and type in printers and scanners. Click on it. And now once you're on this, you're going to find your correct printer. You're going to click on it. And now you're going to scroll down and then click on more devices and printer settings. Click on this. And now you want to find your printer again. You want to right click on it. And then you'll click on set as default printer. And then click on yes. And now the green tick will appear on your correct printer, which means that it's a default device. And now for the second step, you want to right click on your printer and then you'll click on troubleshoot. And now you want to go through this. If any problems come up, it will fix it for you. And now for the third step, you want to head over to search and type in troubleshoot settings. Click on it. And now once you're on this, you want to click on other troubleshooters. And then next to printer, you want to click on run. Click on this. Wait for this to load. And now once this loads up, you want to scroll down and then click on yes. And then you want to follow all the steps that come up. And now once you do that, now for the last step, you want to head over to search and type in CMD. Then you want to run it as administrator. And then click on yes. And once you're on this, you want to type in SFC space forward slash scan now. And then click on enter. Then you want to run the scan. Now once the scan is being completed, you just want to restart your computer and then the problem should be fixed.